What's Daniel? You too, it's your boy Daniel. My name is Daniel. We are on no fat day at 12. Damn, I don't know what to even say, y'all. I feel crazy. I feel good. I feel bad. I feel everything. I feel everything. I've just been trying to stay busy. You know, I, I got an agreement with myself. Is if I stay busy, I'm going to be fine. You're going to be fine. We both going to be fine. Yeah, my channel is all about no fab shit like that, you know. Holding on your your retention game, all that. I'm the last of a dying breed, you know. Like I'm grinding every day on here. We both grind every day. We a family over here. You know what I mean? Shit, every day you gonna catch me. Every day you gonna see my face. You gonna catch these vibes, this energy. Cause I be looking online and I just don't be seeing none of this energy online and like it's it's kind of weird. I realize something. Niggas like me trying to be entertaining. We it's like we gotta be better. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta be better. You feel me? Us people out here speaking the truth. We gotta be better delivering the message and shit like that. For real. Like y'all shouldn't even be watching TV. Y'all need to make TV. For real. Yeah, man. No fab day 12. I don't know. I don't know what else to say to y'all. I've been posting every single day for like two weeks. And I don't know what to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't got many tips. Um, I, I got a haircut. I feel good. Just always trying to gain more in life, you know? Just been road running, you know? Running from my problems, I'm going to be honest. I've been running from my problems. Shit, I've been running from my problems lately. Yep. Can't go into much detail, but feel me? We just gonna keep running, baby. I run track for a reason. Running from my problems like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the female attraction ain't really kicked in yet, though. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really get, it ain't really getting that stupid yet. Still regular, you know? Still regular. But at the same time, I ain't been sober, so you take it how you want to take it. For real. I mean, you attract what you are. Oh no, I got this new book. I'm gonna share this new book I got. I got this book today. It's called it's called Atomic Habits. If y'all can see that, it's called Atomic Habits. I'm gonna make sure I read this book. I'm talking about tiny changes are remarkable. It looked like a good book, you know? I'm gonna read it. Kinda got tired of the last book I was reading. I was, my last book I was reading was called. The last book I was reading was called Laws of Human Nature. I was watch I was reading this book. I kinda got tired of like halfway through. Like page. 200 or something like that some other books i've been reading that i think are really good this one's called 25 doing the impossible 25 laws for doing the impossible it's a great book i highly recommend and it's a short book too yeah i think i read it once yeah once over another great book so when i was in school talking to people every day trying to become cool trying to influence people I got this book. There aren't as many people in my life on a daily basis, but it's good to know these things. Trying to run into people, knowing everything I know with body language, human nature, shit, this book, it's easy to make a good first impression in it. Get people to like you, and it's like sometimes you don't get validation because they don't tell you, but the outcomes will let you know. You get better outcomes if you read this book with people. It's simple stuff too, like real simple stuff. Like if I told you some of this stuff, you'd be like, "That's it, yeah." It's really simple stuff, like smile when you see people. You know, be happy when you see them. You can't win an argument. It's like simple things, you know, simple things. I got some other books I want to show y'all too. This book right here. This book is a great book for um. You know, the spirituality side to your sexual energy, trying to understand feminine energy and how they all play a part together. It's called The Way 
of that superior man. It's 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 a must read if you want to get in a relationship. You know, must read. You have must read if you're the type of guy that likes relationships and whatnot. I'm gonna show you a book that I got, but I didn't read the book though. I listened to the audio book, but I have the book right here. I think it was a great book. The audio book was great. It's supposed to be just like the real book. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's a great book. They tell a story. He he has, he so he had a rich dad and a poor dad. He lived with both of them. He tells you the story. He kind of breaks down how to build wealth, the mindset, and the simple things you gotta get in your brains down if you want to build wealth. It's a big adjustment. I've been, I mean, I haven't been working on it as much as I've been working on trying to stay busy so I can get my street high. I ain't been really focused on wealth, you know. I've been just trying to focus on making sure my street is a high number so I could catapult myself in the college track and field and just, you know, attract the life I want. So I've been focused on that. Because here's the thing. You can have wealth. But you ain't gonna, you might not have the life you want. I wanna have the life that I want. Yeah. Man, that's about all I got for y'all today. I'm gonna go to sleep, man. I love y'all, boys. Peace.